Hello friends. As we are discussing the neurocutaneous syndromes in this video, I will be discussing about the neurofibromatosis type one and type two. So neurofibromatosis type one, this is also autosomal dominant. Most of the neurocutaneous syndromes are autosomal dominant, and the incidence is one in three thousand. One in three thousand. It is otherwise known as von Recklinghausen disease. He is Professor Frederick Daniel von Recklinghausen who described the disease. Uh, that's why it is always known as von Recklinghausen disease. Uh, there is an entity known as von Recklinghausen disease of bones. That is uh, other name for osteitis fibrosis cystica, which is seen in patients with chronic kidney disease. Okay, so that is a different entity. That is von Recklinghausen disease of bones. But von Recklinghausen disease means it's a neurofibromatosis type 1. It is caused by mutation in the gene NF1 which is present on chromosome 17. It is present on chromosome 17. NF1 codes for a protein that is known as neurofibromin. Neurofibromin is a tumor suppressor protein. The function of neurofibromin is to inhibit the RAS activity. So neurofibromin, it has GTPH activity. It has GTPH activity. And through this, it can inhibit the RAS pathway. So if there is NF1 mutation, that means neurofibromin is absent. So there will be excessive RAS pathway activation, which will cause increased cell proliferation and tumor formation. Now this is about the pathogenesis. Now let us see the clinical features. So neurocutaneous syndrome means uh, they will have uh, uh, neural, uh, I mean CNS or PNS manifestations and skin manifestations. <clears throat> So in NF1, you are going to get uh, neurofibromas. So these are the neurofibromas. Then you will get cafeole spots. So these are the cafeole spots. Coffee colored macules, cafeole spots. These are also seen in Macron Albright syndrome and these are also seen in Fanconi anime. These are, uh, the, this image is showing hematomatous nodules over the iris. These are iris nodules, otherwise known as the list nodules. Then here we are seeing axillary freckling. So this is known as axillary freckling. Similarly, you may also get inguinal freckling. So hyperpigmented spots in the axilla. This is known as, known as axillary freckling. Then here you can appreciate optic, optic nerve glioma, optic nerve glioma. Okay. Apart from that, they can have other CNS manifestations like intellectual disability, intellectual disability or seizures. Then other tumor they can have that is pheochromocytoma, they can have pheochromocytoma, which is an adrenal medullary tumor, pheochromocytoma. They can have some bony abnormalities, bony defects like sphenoid bone dysplasia, sphenoid bone dysplasia. Okay, so these are all the clinical features of neurofibromatosis type 1, capillary spots, neurofibromas, optic nerve glioma, list nodule, axillary freckling, intellectual disability, seizures, pheochromocytoma, and spinal bone dysplasia. Now we'll discuss about neurofibromatosis type 2. This is caused by mutation in NF2 gene, NF2 gene, which is present on chromosome 22. And this codes for a protein that is known as merlin. Merlin is actually a cytoskeletal protein. It's a cytoskeletal protein which interact with actin to maintain the cell shape, cell structure, and cell adhesion. It is also autosomal dominant. However, it is much less common as compared to NF type 1. Incidence is 1 in 30 to 40,000. Sorry, 1 in 40 to 50,000. 40 to 50,000. Here, what you are going to get, you are going to get bilateral vestibular swanomas. This we have already discussed when you discuss the individual entities. I have told you that bilateral vestibular swanomas are seen in NF2. We are going to get multiple meningiomas. And there is one more CNS tumor, <coughs> which I have already told you is associated with NF2, that is ependymoma, especially the ependymoma of spinal cord, ependymoma of spinal cord, which is <coughs> uh, which is associated with NF2. <coughs> okay, so classically you are going to get these three tumors. In contrast to other neurocutaneous syndromes, NF2 usually doesn't have skin manifestations. So that is what you need to remember. In this image, they are showing 
bilateral vestibular squamous. As you can see here, the most common location is the cerebellar pontine angle, and they produce the ice cream cone appearance. So that's all about the neurofibromatosis type 1 and type 2.